According to the CDC, HIV still remains a growing concern and health risk for the Hispanic community. In honor of tomorrow's National Latino AIDS Awareness Day, Cronkite News reporter Lauren Michaels spoke to health experts in regards to the importance of HIV testing. Here in Arizona, more than 16,000 people are living with HIV. Hispanics make up about 26% of that number. This year, health experts and HIV advocates are hoping to put an end to this increasing number by encouraging everyone to get tested. Yes, I'm ready. Kate Kleckel found out 10 years ago that he is HIV positive. Now through the Aunt Rita Foundation, he tries to educate everyone he can. Prevention is the cure. So um, I decided to dedicate my life to preventing it in others. If it was too late for me, it's certainly not too late for anybody else. But in order to prevent the spread of the virus, testing is key. It's very important for HIV patients to know their status and get tested and get on medications as soon as possible. One local clinic here in Phoenix offers free testing and one employee who's a part of the Latino community strongly urges everyone to have the HIV conversation. Most important things that we can do for the community at large is to educate our children and to continue to put this at the forefront of uh, our Hispanic uh, population. Um, because we are um, more vulnerable. Tomorrow there will be free HIV testing at two Walgreens locations off 19th Avenue and Bethany Home Road as well as 35th Avenue and Southern. It doesn't matter if you're here legally or not legally, if you're an immigrant, where you're from, uh, all you have to do is show up at our Walgreens and we will test you. If we could test every Arizona and get every HIV positive person in care and keep them in care, the chances that they transmit the disease to someone else drop by 96 percent. And for any reason, if you can't make it to the free HIV testing tomorrow, you can also visit a Theranos Wellness Center at any time to receive information and testing services. In the Broadcast Center, Lauren Michaels, Cronkite News.